I'm Andrew Dunvalman from Miller Park, where it's in the 40s, it's really windy, and it's overcast, which means it can be time for only one thing, and that's Brewers baseball. It's also time for a brand new series with ESPN Wisconsin, as Adriana Torres and I will be taking the Milwaukee sports world off the record. And today we take it to the streets and the ESPN Milwaukee studios, where everybody has some kind of opinion about the Brewers' upcoming season. I'd say my baseline expectations to them to be fighting for a playoff position. I, I think that this season in the NL Central is really going to be a grind because I think you have three teams that can be classified from good to very good, but I don't think any of the teams are really great. You have the Brewers, the Reds, and the Cardinals, and you're kind of seeing all three of those teams being placed at the top of a lot of projections. I know some people are bringing up the fact that, oh, the Cardinals are being picked to win the divisional, so what about the Brewers? I mean, expert predictions don't mean that much at the beginning of the season. It's going to be tough. Uh, I expect them to be in the mix for a playoff spot, whether that's the division title or one of the two wild card spots. I'd say that's my baseline expectation for the season. Uh, I'm pegging the Brewers for 90 wins. I think that should be enough to win this division. Um, Alex Gonzalez has been tearing the ball up in spring as well, um, but I think he's just going to kind of be where he normally is, low on base percentage with a little bit of pop. Um, I'm interested to see what's going to happen with Nori Aoki as well. Um, he's not going to start every day, but he may get some early starts as Corey Hart isn't played 100% as he's coming off a knee surgery. So I'm interested to see what Aoki can do as well, uh, despite the fact at times he may look like the fifth outfielder on this team. I think we'll still hear from Tony Plush, but I think we might hear a little bit more from Tony Hush this year. I think he's a positive on the team, um, but I, I do think there is that thought in the back of some people's minds if he's going to wear out his welcome in, in the coming years. Expectations are running high among fans for the upcoming Brewer season, though some of the beliefs may be a little misguided. How do you think the Brewers are going to do this year? I believe the Brewers will make the playoffs. I'm not quite sure if they will win the pennant, but they may get the wild card. Possibly not as well as last year. I think they'll still have a solid year. Last year they did good, but this year they probably do a little better. Uh, I think they'll be all right. I think the fans back Ryan Braun. As far as, as far as I know, they support Ryan Braun. Fielder was, he was probably one of the biggest free agents of the season. You knew you were going to lose him, so they'll still back him well. They'll still do well in that division, so I think they'll be all right. What do you think about the whole Braun scandal that happened this offseason? Honestly, if it was going to be that big of a deal, he wouldn't be here right now. I think he's doing just fine. I think his personal life is his personal life, and he should do whatever he wants. I think he's still going to play solidly. It's still debatable whether or not the whole incident affected him one way or the other. I don't think it enhanced his performance, no matter what he was taking. I think he'll still be solid. Um, from what I know, a lot of people say he's not that good of a player. And as far as Niger Morgan, he's one of the craziest players on the team. Right. How do you think he will contribute? Well, you know, if he put his mind to it, you know, if his teammates help him out, work with him, you know, maybe his little anger or whatever, you know, what he got going on, you know, maybe he'll calm down a little bit. I really love Niger Morgan. He provides a lot of spark, a lot of spark to the team, and I hear he's a real uh, positive uh, person in the clubhouse. And to see if anyone really knew their stuff, we gave them a test question. Take a look. How do you think the addition of Dale Swaim this year will help the team? Uh, I think it'll be good. It adds depth, of course, and that's always good. When you lose a guy like Fielder, you need to bring in people, and that's what they did. It'll be a good fit, hopefully. Oh, that's a hard one. Um, Dale, you know, he'll work on it. You know, he, he'll work on it. He'll get there as they anybody else he'd get there the Cubs I don't know the players like that but um I hope he do something that's beneficial to his team <laughs> the addition of Swaim I think he'll help very well this guy knows his stuff first guy all day that actually knows who Dale Swaim is how many games will the Brewers win this year so the Brewers will win 70 games we'll go with about 58. I'll go, I'll go the over 70, maybe 75, and that'll get him over the hump. 
<laughs> I don't even know how many games are in a season, so I'm gonna say 12. Well, Bruce is a good team, so I would say about 10. I wanna say mid 80s. It'll be close with them and the Cardinals. The Cardinals, just like Fielder, they lost Pujols, so it'll be neck and neck, but I think the Brew Crew will, they'll do all right this year. I think they'll win it.